I was scrolling on TikTok one day, minding my own business, and I see a TikTok that intrigued me. And it was a TikTok of this person being like, I don't support cheating, but... And it showed a picture of Joey King and Aaron Taylor Johnson, both of whom aren't single. So first of all, Joey, I thought was engaged or maybe even married or in a serious relationship. And then Aaron Taylor Johnson is married to a much older woman. Now don't get me wrong, I am not a fan of big age gaps at all. So the rumor is that Joey King and Aaron Taylor Johnson got together. And because a lot of people like myself share the same opinion where they, the, the age gap between Aaron Taylor Johnson and his wife is very uncomfortable. Actually, I'm gonna look up the exact age difference to give people some reference here. So she is 55 years old and he is 32, lovely. So Aaron Taylor Johnson and Joey King were in this movie called Bullet Train together. And I actually don't know why or how these rumors got started, but nevertheless, they're spreading like wildfire. And this resulted in a bunch of people saying, oh my God, I hate hated Joey King before, but now she's slaying. I love her. Why didn't you like her in the first place though? I mean, I understand not liking someone just for the shits and gigs because everybody has people who we just don't like. We don't like their vibe. We don't like the way that they talk. We don't like something about them, but it's just the fact that this is a recurring pattern with young girls specifically who've not done anything wrong and by anything wrong i mean like i don't know nothing nothing to warrant this type of aggressive dislike i know among the girls that i'm going to be talking about some people might have qualms with them for different political beliefs that they may hold. I mean, I, I don't think that any of these girls did anything atrociously wrong, but if they did, let me know. These girls are making a comeback. I think that we are all coming to the realization that these girls were shitted on for no reason and they deserve the like love and respect and kindness and support. So obviously someone on this list is Joey King and it's not like, I'm embarrassed to say that I was one of the people who didn't like her. I mean, I didn't really know her all that well. She was Beezus. I believe in Ramona and Beezus. The main girl from the kissing booth, I don't remember her name. And then now she, I just saw her in the new movie Bullet Train. But if we're just basing our dislike for Joey off of the characters that she plays and we think that the characters are annoying, that's pretty fucked up. I mean, sometimes it's easy to just be like, if the whole internet dislikes someone for no reason, then you could just be like, yeah, sure, I don't like them either. That's exactly what I did with Justin Bieber when Baby came out in 2009 or something. And everybody, like all of the girls that were cooler were like, I don't like Justin Bieber, I'm gonna be different. And I was like, I'm gonna be different too, I don't like him either. But guess what? He slayed Baby, Never Say Never, Beauty and the Beat, Boyfriend. All bangers. Next on this list, I have Charlie D'Amelio and we're gonna combine her with Addison Rae. I feel like it's interesting how on TikTok, the people who get the most famous are all girls. And I don't really know if the reason is just because they can cater to both the male and female gaze, whatever the fuck that means. I'm not even sure if I can use that correctly in the context of TikTok because that refers to film. But if we're thinking like Charlie D'Amelio, Addison Rae, uh, Bella Porch, and then the Musical.ly days, we've got like Lauren Gray and Brooke Monk, who's also on this list um, that we'll talk about later. All girls. But Charlie D'Amelio and Addison Rae, Charlie D'Amelio, she just seems sweet. People got mad at Charlie for a bunch of weird reasons, like getting mad for saying that she wanted to hit 100 million subscribers a year after she hit a million or something like that, which I mean, I think people could misinterpret and be like, oh, be grateful for the ones that you already have, but you can't lie, it would have been cool for that to happen a year later, like coincidentally. Apparently, allegedly, she was also done dirty by men, specifically, what's his face? Lil Huddy. Yeah, well, apparently, I think, okay, so what I think, according to the rumors, if I remember them correctly, Lil Huddy cheated on Charlie with Nessa Barrett, and then Charlie got with Landon, who, is Lil Huddy's friend. I don't know. If any <laughs> but anyway, Joey slays. Charlie has been slaying. Addison, Addison built a sort of, I mean, she she got her connection. She's connected to the Kardashians now. And so is Charlie because she's dating Landon. Slaying. <laughs> That's all I can say. Brooke Monk, also on this list. The internet just treats her horribly. I mean, she seems so nice. I, I'd say her content is probably not for me. I mean, it's very um, musically-esque. She posts a lot of cutesy relationship TikToks. Again, probably not my cup of tea, but she's doing nothing wrong. And then the people in the comments, I, I think mainly 
men, but I can't tell the gender from like a username. Whenever she posts a TikTok where there's a clip of her without makeup, if she's doing a no makeup to makeup transition, all the comments are like, what is that in the first clip? Referring to her without any makeup. And I get the joke, but like, come on, grow the fuck up. Like that's so mean. And I think it's even worse over on Reddit. I don't even know what's going on over there. I, I don't even think I want to know quite frankly. And then finally, who I have on this list is Millie Bobby Brown, who the internet treated horribly. I mean, it was funny in the, uh, well, it wasn't funny, but I thought personally it was funny in the moment because the comments that people were making about Millie are just so absurd that obviously they're not true. But like, if you take a second to think about it, you realize, damn, that was pro that was not okay. Because we pretty much bullied her off of Twitter. I mean, her, she's always been anti-bullying and what did we do? We bullied her off of Twitter. She has her like dirty laundry aired out on the internet. Not dirty laundry, but I guess she's been done dirty by men, for sure. There was that older guy who talked shit about her on like a TikTok or Instagram live, very inappropriately. That was really messed up. She did date Jacob Sartorius, which is embarrassing in its own right. I mean, actually, I feel like the internet has done a switcheroo with Jacob Sartorius. We no longer think that he's cringy. I don't know. I'm just, I'm just, I'm just following the masses at this point. But she, honestly, I saw pictures of her from this new movie as like Skate or something. I don't know. Maybe that's completely wrong. But she, I was seeing the behind the scenes photos of her. She had this like, long flowing like wavy blonde hair and she looked so good and i was looking at the pictures and i was like this is what young famous people looked like in the 80s like behind the scenes pictures like she is really killing it she's gonna be i mean she already is something big but i feel like she's just gonna stay slaying forever people are comparing her to the new like or the younger version of natalie portman because I saw a TikTok ad for this one movie that Millie was gonna be in that I think is coming out on Netflix and she looked so badass. I mean, I'll put a clip in this video if I can find it. I didn't even realize that that was Millie Bobby Brown at first. I was like, Millie, goodness gracious. And it's not to say I will return because when I was talking about these girls, I did realize some silly and goofy things that they've done over the years, which we've all been there. We've all done dumb things, but Millie, I remember <laughs> she has this makeup brand called Florence by Millie. I actually have purchased items from her collection that I have yet to use. I've never tried them. There were these like whales that you could put under your eyes. Anyway, there's this clip of her, I don't know where she even posted it. It, it might've been on Instagram where she was supposed to like give you a tutorial of her trying the products. And there was just absolutely no product there. I'm going to do the clean magic face wash. Let's go. <laughs> Okay, so I'm applying now. I, I know that's probably not her fault, but why would you post that? <laughs> why would you post a video of you trying out your makeup products when there is no product in sight? Like, did you really think the internet was not going to figure that out? Oh my god, my favorite clip of Millie is when she was on Instagram Live with Louis Partridge, her co-star from Enola Holmes. I have a question over my face. It just says, is Louis single over my face? And I would quite like to get rid of it. I don't know how to do it. Really? Yes, I don't like this question. Oh my gosh, I don't see that. I'm so sorry. I hate this question. <laughs> I'm so sorry. How do I get rid? Oh, no. That... Whoa. And then I remember on Frenemies, Remember when Frenemies was a thing? Anyway, Trisha Paytas and Ethan Klein were discussing, um, well, actually, I think Trisha brought it up because apparently the hashtag, like, here for Charlie or, like, or I feel, or I'm sorry for Charlie or sending love to Charlie, something along those lines, that hashtag was trending, and Charlie D'Amelio thought it was for her. Um, I guess she just thought that people realized that the internet has been really shitty with regards to how they've, how we've been treating her, and she was like, oh, thank you guys for the support. Like, love you so much. It was not for Charlie though. It was for Charlie XCX, whose producer and good friend recently passed away. So if I was Charlie, I don't think I could ever come back for that. So props to her for not disappearing off the face of the earth after that happened, as well as she kept her Black Lives Matter profile picture for, I believe, like years, I believe. I mean, at the end of the day, on a more serious note, I think that the way that the internet treats girls in general is not ideal. Because we have all of these girls 
who are very nice, very kind, pretty much only bring positive vibes to the internet, and people give them so much hate on an unwarranted scale. Granted, you can dislike whoever you want, but an active hatred where you like bully them online, bully people off of Twitter, bully them off of any social media platform for doing nothing? And then we have guys, if we're gonna make this a guy-girl thing, which it is, we have guys who have committed literal crimes, have sexual assault allegations. I mean, granted, allegations are allegations, but I wonder, cause sometimes allegations come to light, sometimes they're true, sometimes they're not, but I feel like the internet forgets to hear the verdict of the conclusion. I, I mean, we hear the allegations and then nothing happens, you know what I mean? Like for example, recently allegations regarding the actor Percy who plays Xavier on Wednesday is coming to light and then the internet we like hyper fixated on that for like a week and then we forget about it but we should really follow up on some of these because it's very important information to know whether that they're true or not because how can you possibly support someone who's done something like that that's not something that we can just forget about and move on and this happened with I believe not sexual assault allegations but I don't know I feel like something similar happened with Jack Dylan Grazer I don't no. See, I don't even remember. I don't even remember why he was canceled. Anyway, this is just my way of saying that if you dislike someone for no reason on the internet, probably keep it to yourself. And if you find that a bunch of people on the internet are hating this one person for seemingly no reason, maybe let's not join along. <laughs> anyway, this has been fun. Let's do it same time next week. <laughs> so stupid. Anyway, I uh, hope y'all are having a good day, good week, and I'll see you next time.